is Alex Moore with that Nerd Show. I have here today Sasha Jenkins, director of Fresh Dressed. Just looking a bit more at some of your work and looking at the past, Ego Trips, Racerama, and it's pretty interesting stuff. And uh, looking at this one, I noticed that uh, you were able to get involved with some uh, some pretty amazing uh, artists for the for the work on this film. I happen to be a big fan of Nas, uh, just personally. Right. So I'm curious about what that experience was like. Um, getting to spend time with these guys and uh, getting their words and what can you tell us about what this film is really all about? Well the film is really a backdoor way of telling the history of hip-hop using fashion as a medium to do that. Uh, you know uh, when you think hip-hop obviously you think lyrics, you think you know beats, you think all these things but there's not a rapper who isn't conscious of the way that he dresses and that could be traced as far back as slavery. The film starts you know, with the term Sunday best. Yes. What does Sunday best mean to you? Well, as far as I, well, I know it has a different meaning from what it used to mean. Um, that you know, we, we today we mean it as you, you best dress in your best clothing when you go to church. Right. Well, that's what it meant back then. But in certain states, it was mandated that slave owners had to purchase one nice church suit for their slaves so they could worship a god that was completely foreign. To them. So when you think about that, and you think about how that tradition in the African American community still continues this idea of you know getting fresh for church you know uh, this is something that's just an interesting thing for, for folks to think about in terms of how important fashion is and what the fashion what fashion's relationship to who people are now speaking about you know Sunday best and how it goes all the way back to buying suits for taking slaves to church there's a definite spiritual side to almost every rapper that I've ever read anything about. So, what was what was what they had to say about that in connection to what they have with their lyrics and uh, connection to fashion as well? Also, right. I mean, kind of going back to your question earlier. You know, as a journalist over the years, I've interviewed most of these guys. So, um, and now he and I went to the same junior high school and have common friends from where we grew up. So. A lot of the stuff that we were talking about were things that hadn't really been talked about before in the context of the bigger picture. People are always asked about, you know, their music or their lyrics, but rarely are they really asked about, well, what did that outfit mean to you? You know, Kanye in the film says, you know, when I was a kid, I wanted money just to look fresh. You know, so when you consider how important fashion is to people in the inner city, it opens up other bigger conversations about, well, if in the inner city clothing means so much to people, outside of that, clothing is just fashion. For everyone else, I mean, excuse me, for everyone else, it's just function. In the inner city, fashion is identity. You know, so having that conversation with people uh, really opens up a lot of doors for other conversations to be had, and hopefully this film does that. Now, I was looking at some of the uh, cast members, and it has a list of vloggers. I was curious about what the role was for these these people like uh, uh, Leanne Haney or Nina Ellis or Hervey. What was that uh, all about? Well, I think I'm not 100% sure. They're not necessarily in the film. They yes. are okay. they're with Style Hall. Style Hall is working with us to get the film out there. So a lot okay. of their ambassadors who have you know great profiles online and who are directly connected to fashion are getting behind the film using their social media channels. That's I don't know that good. those folks are in the film. Yeah, just uh, connected sure to not. it somehow. Though. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Well, that's good to know. All right, we want to ask one quick question before we move along. It's something we like to ask uh, everybody who we have on the red carpet, as we are that nerd show. If you had a chance to direct a film about a superhero or a supervillain, who would you choose, or would you go with something different? Superhero or supervillain? I think I would go with Spider-Man, superhero. He's from Queens, from the same neighborhood I'm from. So that's pretty easy. I think I understand Peter Parker. So. There may even be a side of that uh, experience in Queens that maybe hasn't been told in a Spider-Man movie as well that you could. Well, share I know there's. Us. I think there's like an like Bizarro Black Spider-Man, right? There's like a new whole other black Spider-Man coexisting in Queens, maybe. I don't know. Maybe oh, sure, he's Cent's cousin. Maybe he's Nas. I don't know. I think Donald Glover from Community was voicing him in one of the animated shows. Yeah. yeah. I can I can do it better than him. I'm I don't know where he's from. But. All right, Sasha, it's uh, wonderful speaking to you. Good luck with your film. Thank you. Thank you for your time.